Ah, the country of Hungary. Located in Europe somewhere, its capital is one of Europe's greatest cities. This is a quick look into Budapest. This is Budapest. It's... it's just fantastic. I mean, it's really quite something. Just look at that building. It's like really interesting. One of Budapest's most interesting sites is the chain bridge, which forms a connection between Buda and Pest. The lion-guarded chain bridge, which was opened in 1889, is one of the city's most recognizable features. Towards the end of World War II, Budapest became a front-line town and suffered severe damage. The bridge was heavily damaged, and was later reconstructed. Today, it is a popular place for tourists to walk on their way to the castle. And one time, I saw a naked lady there. It was like, really awesome. I guess they were filming something for the internet. True story. Budapest is also home to the third largest parliament building in the world. It's like, really big and pointy. But if you try and go there now, it's very difficult because of all the construction going on. The slow and narrow yellow trams are the city's oldest form of transport. Budapest also has the oldest underground metro in mainland Europe. Started in 1896, it still runs today. While this is cool and all, it can make it difficult for tourists to get around, as these old subways don't provide extra help, like telling you where you're going. Now here's something that's really interesting. The city is also famous for its medicinal thermal baths. It has the largest medicinal bath in Europe, the Schirchenie Thermal Bath. Built in 1913 in the neo-baroque style, Schirchenie offers decent prices, which allow a chance for anyone to enjoy the opportunity to relax in luxury. Budapest is considered one of the most beautiful cities in Europe, and rightly so. It is often called the Pearl of the Danube. The city houses several world heritage sites, like the banks of the Danube and the Buda Castle Quarter. Another just fantastic thing about Budapest is that it's a walkable city. Forget the tram, forget the underground, just take your feet for a ride. So take a stroll along the riverbank go shopping in the city centre and enjoy the city's vibrant nightlife. Budapest seems to have something for everyone. But there are some important things to remember. First, the language is like, what? And no, you're not paying for things in distance. That's the currency of Hungary, the forint, or FT for short. While Budapest is a great city to visit, I also recommend visiting Slovakia.